Accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Very hot, very humid conditions across the area. Just waiting for a few storms to, to develop. The atmosphere is ripe and it won't take much, that is for sure. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 o'clock this evening. It includes just about all of Central Texas at this hour. Right now on our exclusive Viper Radar, all is quiet here. We had a, a few light showers trying to develop uh, around Gatesville, but they didn't make it. Most of the active weather at this moment is two hour north. If you are traveling for the holiday weekend, you're trying to get a start on this Friday. Tell you what, it's going to be very stormy up in the, uh, the northern part of the state, right around the Metroplex. Many showers and thunderstorms that are severe, that are dropping hail and heavy rainfall and gusty winds are kind of popping up here and there right along I-20. So keep that in mind if you're traveling. Most other areas pretty quiet. You'll notice though, we're going to be uh, monitoring what's happening out to the west of us this afternoon and there I should say this evening because that's where the development if it does develop uh, will occur now severe weather threat. It's not going to take much for any thunderstorm to turn severe. It's going to be isolated tonight, but if it does, our main threat will be large hail followed by heavy rainfall, which will lead to some flooding. You know, we have a lot of water around the region, so flooding a big problem. Can't rule out some damaging winds, even an isolated tornado too possible here in the region. Right now, temperatures upper 80s to lower 90s, but a lot of humidity out there makes it feel like triple digits in most areas. 104 Hearn as well as Cameron and the Brenham area right here in Waco. Our heat index 102 degrees 104 in Comanche and it feels like 100 in the Brownwood area. So our forecast as we hit the evening, it's a tough forecast here because we still have a little cap on top of us, but a lot of humidity and it's ready to go as soon as it breaks through it at seven o'clock. Isolated severe thunderstorms will be possible across some of the region. Not everybody will see anything in you. Notice even by eight, it's hit and miss across our region. We're trying to see a complex move in from the uh, the north. So that's the stuff we're seeing up in the Dallas area. That's being picked up with our computers and that's sliding it to the southeast as we go toward the evening. We will see if that happens or not, but a lot of it will be just east of I-35 there by early in the overnight period and by early tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up to temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. Skies will see kind of partly to mostly cloudy and as we hit the afternoon, more sunshine developing, but here comes some hot weather and whatever develops out to the west of us will try to move in into our area here. So there will be maybe a slight chance tomorrow evening of an isolated shower, but I think most areas will stay dry. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, mostly sunny skies, it will be a very hot day on Sunday. We're talking mid, maybe a few upper 90s. Some areas though will be hitting 100 degrees. This will just be the raw temperature too. You factor in the humidity. We're talking heat index numbers in that 105 to 110 range here in the region. So very, very careful if you're out there. That's right. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Your forecast for tonight, though, partly cloudy skies. I've got isolated severe thunderstorms. Heavy rain is one of the threats. The other is large hail. We'll watch that very closely. 73 degrees, your low temperature. And then tomorrow, clouds in the morning kind of breaking into that sunshine by the afternoon. So we'll say clearing skies 93, but with all the humidity, it will feel like about a 108 degrees uh, in the shade. Here's the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by the Alliance Electrical Group. 96 for the raw high on Sunday. You know that heat index well into the low 100s. Memorial Day, a front moves through, slight chance of some rain, 94, and then slightly cooler weather next week. Still looking at slight chances of rain just about every day doesn't mean you're going to see it. Could be a different place every day. And again, chances are just about 30 to 40 percent. Nighttime lows will be in the 60s and 70s and then down toward Bryan and College Station. 94 on Saturday, 96 on Sunday. Next week, a little bit cooler thanks to that front. Slight chances of rain just about every day, but not a washout and not everybody will see it. But what everybody is seeing tonight, though, is the humidity, the clouds out there and uh, the possibility of uh, a storm popping up. All right.